Good morning. This is uh, Morten from Inkis TV. We are here at Homeplay Innovation Days, fourth and last day. And I said yesterday we were tired. If we were tired yesterday, I don't know what we are today. But that doesn't mean that I'm not very, very happy to meet uh, Dimitri from uh, Zycon. Dimitri, Morten, great, great to see you again. Likewise. Welcome to the Zycon booth. We're going to talk about equipment in a second, but I have to ask you, so how has Honkel been for you guys? Well, it's, been, it's been super great, actually. So we've been waiting for this for, I think, four years, right? Uh, so we were, the last one was in 2019, so we've been waiting four years. In the meantime, in full pandemic, we developed a, a new platform, and finally we can show it to the people. Uh, I just checked with the colleagues. We had uh, a couple hundred people here from 34 different countries. Can you imagine? Amazing. So, right? so yeah. just to be able to speak to those people about your passion and your products is, is just a great opportunity. And, and the organization is perfect as usual. And I was just about to say, but uh, do you need Honkler Innovation Day? I mean, you have your Saikon cafes, right? Yeah, but this is, this is different. This is, um, this is everybody in the industry is here. Competitors are here. Uh, software is here, finishing is here. This is something which is, uh, it has a reputation in the industry. You cannot, you cannot compete with that. So. And, and it must also be amazing from, a, from a, 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 an OEM perspective, because I mean, of course you focus on the technology you have, but you also have very easy to get access to see the outputs and the competitors as well, right? It must be exciting for yeah. you, right? Yeah, because now it's not so much about the, the, the printing or, or the press, which is, which is great. I mean, this is what we all do, right? But it's more about the products, and this is, and this is on Hunkler. You see products. You see, I think customers can identify. This is real live environment, right? It's not a staged environment with a press. This is production. You, you hear the sound. It's like it's buzzing. Like it's you're in a big factory, basically. Yeah. I mean, I would like to have a printing house like this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, just imagine with a, with a printing house like this, you could you could do anything, basically. You could do anything. Yeah. You can go uh, all all volumes, all quality levels, all technologies. Uh, with uh, Saikon, I mean, you are actually the only uh, uh, OEM here at Honkla Innovation Desk that do uh, a larger format, uh, high-speed uh, toner-based, web-based uh, web thing. Uh, how does that put you in, a, in, in the competition with your colleagues here? Well, it's a good question. It's, it's not so much a competition, I think. Um, so we are indeed the only full production, full color, roll fat EP platform on the show. And, and I think we find our, our position in this, in this landscape of inkjet and smaller cut sheet toner. So we try to focus as much as we can on the high quality, on substrate versatility, on format flexibility. And, and if all the, the boxes are ticked in terms of volume, in terms of quality requirements and investment level, then, then it's, it's us in that spot. And yeah. uh, now you have this uh, book here. Can I take it for sure, a second? Yeah, go ahead. Because uh, when I was looking at uh, just the other day I passed by, I mean, Stunning quality, right? Yeah, that's that's what we uh, we've been in the market. We're we're known for the for the quality, so it's it's yeah, it's it's offset quality for high coverage book blocks. I mean, this is uh, we're very proud of it. But your uh, signs are not 100 percent, right? <laughs> no, and actually the guys didn't like it too much when I selected the file because these skies, these blue skies, I don't have to explain. You you can see everything if there's a line or whatever. Um, but um, they're keeping the quality top notch, and we've been running these books for for four days. And thanks to the, 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 the colleagues from Muller Martini, they, they finished it into beautiful book blocks. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're very proud of the product. Yeah. I understand that. And I mean, this is a, an excellent example of how technology today actually bring wonderful products to market. Because in the old times, just imagine how many plates, how many processes you had to do in order yeah. to get a book yeah. like this, yeah. right? Indeed. Yeah, we, we switch here live between two up, three up. I mean, and then, and then with the barcodes for the Vareo, the Infinitrim, everything is Thanks to the workflow, everything is automated. So we just put them on a pallet, we bring them to the Muller Martini guys, and after the show, they, they finish it. So it's like a, a, a one, one production machine here. And, so. and, I, and I, you know, I was way too slow because I asked if you wanted to do like an inkish print. You said, no, 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 we don't yeah. have time for it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I have to yeah. be, okay. maybe I can make an appointment with you for the, for the next uh, Home Play Innovation Days that we do some inkish print with yes. you guys. Yeah, right? that, yeah. Will be, that will yeah. be great, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about the market because as you say, the, 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 the series is the platform and this yeah. is the SX30000. Um, again, when uh, and you said that, of course, it comes to the total uh, cost of ownership and also the productivity that you gain with the machine. So who is the typical customer for, uh, for the SX30000? Yeah. So what, what we, um, well, where we find customers is in the mid-range, so not the very high volumes, not the entry level that you would typically attack with, with cut sheet. And it's for people that it could be in book printing, it could be in direct mail, 
It could be in point of sales material, poster production, even photo books that, that are looking for this niche and that are looking for this combination of productivity, running cost, footprint, because it's also about footprint. Not everybody needs 120 meters per minute, and that's the type of customer we are identifying. Yeah. So, uh, Dimitri, I remember back in the days uh, when I used to work with Icon Press, we used it for like long banners for retail, like you know, big posters. Yeah. Is that still some, something that it is capable of doing? Yeah, indeed. It's, it's still a, so it's thanks to the fact, as, as you know, uh, that it's not a fixed sheet size or a frame length or anything that, that repeats. You can print endless images, and we have customers in the point of sale business that either do posters or banners or, or shelf strips or ceiling banners, but also the fact that you can print um, on, on polyester film, uh, translucent uh, light box materials, and, and thanks to the, the single pass duplex, we print the image on both sides at the same time, a mirrored image, so the color densities are beautiful. Yeah. And I was just about to say that is also one of the advantages with the, the toner bases. Basically, you have, uh, you know, you don't have any drying issues. Of course, uh, uh, basically, you have a, you have advantages that you can't get. And I think that I, when I read, uh, is it a year ago, one and a half year ago, you you announced the series yeah, platform. I mean, you you made a list of all the KPIs of still yeah. using toner, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think it's also great because if you look at you and a few of your competitors in the market they really stick to toner because of the advantages yeah. uh, of the quality and things like that, right? Yeah, that's, I, I think you can, you can have a, a mindset of seeing everybody as your competitor. You can have the, the abundance mindset and, and, and see that there's enough for everyone. And I think toner has its place still in, in the production market. It's in cut sheet, but also in, in, in roll fat, that's what we believe. And it's about, yeah, substrate flexibility. So this, for example, is print, printed on Sapi Magno, an offset stock, and then we have UPM also, an offset stock and we have uncoated paper, it doesn't really matter, we just, we just print the image, we don't take care, uh, we don't worry about coverage or resolution, we just always go full out. And that's what's so interesting about the technology, and that's why I think it still has its place. Yeah. Well, um, last question here, so uh, 34 countries, 35 countries? Yeah, yeah. I, I really had to double check yeah. that because I was really amazed. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of uh, visitors here, uh, any uh, potential sales in the, uh, and yeah, the yeah, there are some, some things that are uh, closing and let's say in the advanced stages of the pipeline. Well, we, we are not announcing it here, but it, uh, watch out in the press and, and, and we'll be in contact. So there, there's coming something very soon. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you again very much. Thank you, Morten. It's a pleasure talking to you. Likewise.